All right, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Ah, it's the 12th of April, 2017. NBA Finals, NBA Playoffs, whatever you want to call it. We are up against the Golden State Warriors. The 4C Golden State Warriors with a very, very, very strong team. Curry, former MVP of 2015. This guy's a monster with a 95 shot three. Should be a 99, probably. Clay Thompson, defensive beast, can shoot as well. Draymond Green is just a monster. Kid Gilchrist can posterize a fool, but he can't shoot for his life. Iggy's just Andre Iguodala. The only thing that we have going for us right now is that these guys don't have a good center. Vesta Cizili, Amari Stoudemire, Jason Smith, they can't hold the man Boogie Cousins. If we want to win this series, we got to go to Boogie every possession down. D'Angelo Russell is coming back. He's day to day. And this man, Hassan Whiteside, might miss this series. He's a center that could also do work in this series, which is a little unfortunate that he's not in this series. But if we want any chance of winning, we got to go ham with Boogie Cousins. So, let's hop into this first game. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, you know what? Let me, let me go Funky Style. You know what Funky Style is? If you guys don't know the YouTuber, Funky, I'll put his link in the description. Great YouTuber, great March M guy. He's just a good guy in general. You guys want to hit that subscribe button to his channel. But, he seems to play a lot of these games in, in like a... In the playoffs, he seems to play most of the games. Why not do that? Why not play most of these games? So you won't see me in a live commentary anymore. You're going to see me post-com this, but... Let's just play up against the first game. Up against the Warriors. And I don't know if I'll show you the whole game, but I might show you the fourth quarter of the first and second... First and second game of this series. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's been Bonnie Smith, and let's get into this. So, here we are, up against the Golden State Warriors and uh, in the first round matchup of this 2017 NBA Playoff Series. You know, when, when you face up against the Golden State Warriors, not only do you face up against Steph Curry, who, in my opinion, he, he's going to be the greatest three-point shooter ever, but you face up against a talented roster. You face up against Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, Iggy, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, you know, Everyone on this team can score. It, and we took two possessions to get three points. They need one. This team needs one possession. It's not even a team. Steph Curry needs one possession to make it a tight game. Whereas we need two. And that, that's the main thing that we have to worry about when facing up against the Golden State Warriors. Is not to give them a huge lead. Because if we give the Warriors a lead, well, our, our game is pretty much over. Steph Curry just has control of the ball every possession and he'll either hit a three or get an assist and you know it's really hard to play against Steph Curry but we have to try and defend him and the sad thing is our roster decided to get injured just as we were heading into the playoffs you know we had we had Hassan Whiteside injured not in this game we had D'Angelo Russell injured not playing in this game so we had players that are injured but the thing that we had was players off the bench producing and doing work. So, as you can see, Alex Len, Harold both got blocks right there, and Alex Len is not done. He gets another one to to add to these stats. Alex Len is a blocking machine, which leads to J.R. Smith hitting a crazy three-point shot and making it a one-point lead going into the second quarter. Now, I mean, from the second quarter to the fourth, well, it did, it didn't really matter. It was all the it was all the Blur. I mean, Steph Curry was hitting shots and we were firing right back. So I head to the third quarter right now. 37 to 34. It's only a three point game. As long as we don't give a huge lead to the Warriors, then, you know, we should be good. We really should be good. We have to contain this lead that we have, and well, yeah, that didn't last long. It's a three point lead to the Golden State Warriors with four minutes remaining in the third. And we have to give them some of their own medicine. In order to win these games, 
we have to give them some of their own medicine. We hit a three, and obviously they hit one right back with Steph Curry. It's a five-point lead to the Warriors. The three-point shot, I mean, I guess the Warriors are accustomed to it. They just got used to it. The fans are used to it. And this is the only way we're in this game. It's just matching them right back. Three-point shot for three-point shot. And then I realized, you know, it's time for me to play my own game. I've got to do some things that... What, it's just what I do. So I throw it down with Jabari Parker. He dunks it straight down the middle of the hoop and gets it to fall. I started playing some good defense and it turned into a five point game. And I thought we'd be able to make it a two point game right there with a terrible shot. But Alex Len, a man that has come off the bench and really just played very, very well. He's got blocks, rebounds, and I mean, that's an and one to go. It's only a two point game now. Fourth quarter just started and Steph Curry just, yeah, just doing what Steph Curry does. Kobe Bryant gives the Lakers a little bit of hope right there, getting that mid-range to go. It's only a two-point game. Klay Thompson spinning off Kobe Bryant feeds Curry. Easy layer for Steph Curry. So it's back and forth game between the two teams. Clarkson gets in the paint, feeds it out to Boogie Cousins with an easy mid-range shot. Boogie has been a little bit cold in this game, so Los Angeles needs Boogie to step up. 56 to 58. And the Golden State Warriors run a beautiful play for Draymond Green, who gets that dunk to go. And this is about the time where the Golden State Warriors either choke, or they put a dagger in the Lakers. And that's exactly what they do right there. It's a nine-point game. Los Angeles needs a quick stop. And Draymond Green once again hits a three. And that's the dagger with 40 seconds left. So the Los Angeles Lakers lose game one of this series. And well, yeah, they were... They were no hope from the beginning. Actually, they kind of were. I don't even know what I'm talking about. The Lakers were a hope, but the Warriors just stepped it up in the fourth quarter and came clutch with Draymond Green hitting two very clutch baskets. Draymond Green is a matchup that, you know, we have to worry about. And game two, well, that wasn't much better for the Los Angeles Lakers. In fact, it was terrible. That turnover by Kobe pretty much sums up the game. 108 to 74, make it 110 to 74, and well, the Lakers lose game two. So the Lakers are down 2-0, heading back to Los Angeles. It doesn't look good for the Lakers. They need a miracle. They need someone to step in and help them and do work because, uh, well, yeah, they couldn't contain the Warriors for the past two games. Andre Iguodala was doing work and Steph Curry was having a little bit of fun in the background. I, I, I enjoyed this. This was quite funny. But the Los Angeles Lakers really, uh, really need to step it up for the next two games. I mean, they're back at home. They're back in Los Angeles. They have the crowd behind them. Boogie needs to start playing a lot better. Boogie didn't have the greatest game. He didn't have the greatest past two games. 18 points and four rebounds with eight of nine shooting. So I guess it's not exactly Boogie. It's just me and I have to give Boogie the ball more. Just like I said at the start of the video. But we're heading back to Los Angeles for the next two games. Hoping to tie this series up. D'Angelo Russell is back, and he's healthy and ready to go. So I guess I'll see you guys there. It's been DeBornick Smith. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you guys enjoyed this type of commentary, let me know in the comment section down below. It's been DeBornick Smith, and I'm out. Peace.